Hey, shalom, shalom, Israel. It's like it. So, first off, once I call the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Akal Kodash, the honors to the elders and the apostles of great and stone. Shalom to your brothers in the highways and byways, preaching and teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. This is your brother Shapal from James Jamaica Camp. You know, and um, back with another lesson today. And you know, we do these lessons basically to, you know, um, edify the potential elect out there. You know what I mean? <clears throat> you know, because a time we're in scripture so say wisdom and, and knowledge shall be the stability of that time you know what I mean so you know whenever we do these videos it's specifically for um the potential elect of the nation of Israel man you know um so basically this lesson is, is um based upon of, uh, me watching a video on the YouTube you know and um a brother walk up to a camp you know I mean an Israelite camp and he was you know, I mean, they're debating back and forth, and you know, he asks, a matter of fact, the brother asked him, um, if the Lord, <coughs> if the Most High, a matter of fact, hey, by the way, the Most High name is Yahweh. Um, if I hadn't said that before, the Most High name is Yahweh, which means he is, he is to be, he exists. You know, what I mean, that's the Most High, that's what his name means in the in the, um, in the Hebrew. You know, what I mean, Yahweh, that was name was given to Moses, All right? Yahweh Shai. Right, we really going to call Jesus, you know, what I mean, Yahshua, Yashaya, you know, what I mean, his name is Yahushai, all right, and um, that's the son of the, of the heavenly father, man, you know, those are their names in the Hebrew, all right. So he was asking if um, Yahweh, the heavenly father, um, is an Israelite, man, and he made a statement that yes, you know, and um, it was a statement, an ignorant statement, because, a matter of fact. That that is what the lesson is. Um, that that was what inspired the lesson today. So we we'll just dive right into it. All right. So we have Israelite here, and um, and this is from the the online etymology. All right. So this is Israelite. It said mid 14th century. All right. Um, a Jew, one of the people of ancient Israel, a descendant of Israel or Jacob. All right. Let's we'll get a scripture with that. Alright, so this is Deuteronomy, a matter of fact, so like that, let's go back. This is Genesis 32 and verse 24. See, and Jacob was left alone, and there rested a man with him until the breaking of the day. And when they saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint. And he rested with him, and he said, let me go for the day break it and he said I would not um, let thee go except thou bless me and he answered and said unto him what is thy name and he said Jacob and he said thy name shall be called no more Jacob but Israel all right for as a prince as thou power with God and with man and as prevail all right Saying so that was when Jacob got the name Israel. Now out of Israel you have twelve tribes, man. Alright, and on our Lord and Savior how shall I came out of one of those tribes which is Judah. You know what I mean? Saying? For Israel, the point we want to get out that is why we read the scripture. The reason why we read the scripture here because Israel, when you look up the word Israel in the Hebrew, right, it means Yasher Hala, mean Prince of God. Alright? Prince of God, Israel, um, where the angel was sent to, by the way, the angel was sent by, by um, the Most High, right, to Jacob, right, and, and gave Jacob that blessing to the angel and changed his name to Israel, right, and Israel means the Prince of God, right, Prince of God, okay, now, if one was saying that, um, the Most High, is an Israelite, all right? How can the Mosai be a prince of himself and he is God? All right? See? And basically, when you look upon um, Israelite, all right, right here, um, the meaning, all right, Israel, all right, as you know, uh, is go back to Jacob and the height and the Israel mean descendant of, all right? So, 
the Lord couldn't be a descendant of Israel, man, because Israel is just a man. The, the most I might have couldn't be a descendant of Israel because Israel is just a man, you know. So the Lord is above all creation. The Lord created everything, all right? And the Lord is above his creation. The Lord is not bound by flesh nor by time. That's why the, um, his name is He is. He exists. Yahweh. You know what I mean? The Lord is not bound by anything, man. And we're going to get these things through the scriptures. But be a support for the love for Israel, man. A lot of people think that um, the Lord... Um, the Lord basically is an Israelite, and and, and um, as um, the elders them normally going um, that the 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 um, the heavenly Father, um, of a resemblance or the son of a resemblance to the heavenly Father, man. You know, what I mean, they have features of that is of um, a man from the tribe of Judah. You know, what I mean, dark skin and um, bronze, um, you know, brass. You know, what I mean, Wo woolly hair and so on and so forth, man. See, because we were made in His image. You know what I mean? So, um, scripture won't get because um, the Lord chose Israel to be a son. Alright, the, the, the nation of Israel. Alright, so this is uh, Deuteronomy 14 and verse 2. It says, For thou heart and holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all nations all right, that are upon the earth. Now the scripture I want to get uh, is Deuteronomy 32, all right, and verse 8. It says, When the Mosai divided the nations, when the Mosai divided the nations, their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bones of the people according to the number of the children of Israel, all right, for the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. All right, Jacob is a lot of, of um, the Lord's inheritance, man. All right, see. So basically, what one proof is that basically, um, with these scriptures, look, the Lord have chosen Israel, and the Lord divided each nation their inheritance, all right, and the Lord take a certain, a specific set of people which are the Israelite, you know what I mean, and said so these people I want to show forth. Uh, my, my laws and my statutes and so on and so forth you know what I mean and he gave Israel his laws and statutes um, which are basically the, the, um, the, the, the glory you know what I mean and power and, 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 and the ways the ways and the image of Yahweh you know what I mean seeing the, the, the cleansiness the how you, how you deal with certain things you know what I mean um, this is a uh, Another scripture, Exodus 4, verse 22. Right, it says, And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus say the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. You know what I mean? So, look, yeah, the Lord loves Israel, man, and the Lord chosen Israel. Alright? But um, the Lord is above. You know what I mean? The Lord is above, man. The Lord is not born by this, this world. You know I mean, the, the law is above all nation. I will get that in, um, in the book of Psalms. I said this is Psalms. This is Psalms one thirteen, and we start up. Can start a verse four. It said, "The Lord is high above all nations, and His glory is above the heavens. Who is like unto the Lord our God, who dwell on high?" Right. Saying so, the Lord is above all men. The Lord dwell on high men. All right. Um, this is we can jump a verse if we get another point out of it. It says that he may set him with princes, even with the princes of his people. All right. He may get the barren woman to keep house and to be a joyful mother to children. Praise the Lord, man. All right. Another scripture to prove that also. All right. We can go to the book of Acts. Alright, um, I believe Acts 17 and verse 24. Because this sad thing, the Lord never came out of the lineage, the, the lineage of um of Israel. Man. The Lord created Israel as I said before, and we continue to say. Alright, and the Lord is above his works. You know what I mean? As it, it, it tells you in the, in the book um Ecclesiasticus, the Lord is way above all his works, man, and worthy to be praised, man. You know? 
See? So this is uh, the book of Acts 17 and verse 24. It so says, God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwell not in temples made with hands. All right? Uh, neither is worship with man's hand as though he needed anything, seeing he give it to all life. All right? And breath. All right? And breath and all things, man. So the, the, the Lord do all these things, man. The Heavenly Father, matter of fact, I should say, man. You know what I mean? You know, we use that interchangeable sometimes, but it's the Heavenly Father, man. All right? <clears throat> so, and he had made of one blood all nations, right, of men for to dwell on all the <clears throat> on all the fields of the earth, and had determined the times before appointed and the bones of their habitation. Seeing so the Lord is not limited by time, the Lord create time, boundaries and everything, man. Right? The the, the heavenly father matter of fact, you know what I mean? And then impress play and everything exists. You know? See? Uh, another scripture I want to get for us to drive home the point. So, um, uh, this is uh, Isaiah 41, 40, 40 and verse 22. <laughs> so, okay. so um, it is he that sitteth upon a circle, the circle of the earth, and the, the, um, the inhabitation thereof. Or as a grasshopper, right? That stretched out the heavens as a curtain and spread it out um, as a tent um, to dwell to dwell in. You know what I mean? So the Lord is out of this world, man. You know? See and he, 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 the wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua go with you all, man. Right? But but um Yahusha basically came to um the, the lineage of Israel, you know what I mean? Um Jacob who is Israel, you know what I mean? So so therefore our Lord and Savior Yahusha is an Israelite, but Yahweh is not an Israelite. Man. See? So uh this was a sh uh, short one so with that I don't want to make it long so you know I mean I guess the point is made there. <laughs> um yeah we can get another scripture basically um so this is before we close up this is uh first Kings eight and verse twenty seven say but but will God indeed dwell on the earth? All right, see. Behold, the heavens and heaven of heaven cannot contain thee. How much less is the house um, that I have built? <laughs> so, if the heavens of heavens cannot control um, the, the the most high, I mean, then then flesh cannot control him, and the earth cannot control him. Man. You know what I mean? See? So that's 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 it. You know what I mean? The the the, the heavenly father, the, the, the power, the creator of all that you see, man, is not bound by flesh. He didn't come out of the lineage of a man. It's not an Israelite, he had chosen Israel and um to show forth his love, you know what I mean, and, and, and um, nourish Israel, you know what I mean, raise up Israel, you know, because he have a special love for Israel, man. Alright? And though Israel is on the bottom of the, of the table right now, the Lord will show forth in mercies unto Israel. Man. Right? See? So, with that, I want to call the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Yahkakadash, the honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Mother's Stone. Um, shalom to you, brothers, in the eyes and by way of speech, in this teaching, this word, in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.